Milton will sit, won't he? Come here, come here, sit down. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Sit. Mm, Bubby, you think Daddy has food for you? <gasps> yes, he does. He's trying to trick you. I smell food, no matter whose it is. <gasps> See, I even sat for the food that's not mine. I even sat for Dee Dee's food. Good boy, you're not gonna get the food. You're not gonna get it. What are you up to, Maddie? You just peeking around the corner? Coming off of like, you know, days where I am eating, you know, like where I've had non-keto food, the best thing for me to do is just like eat the keto food that I love, that's like gonna make me feel really happy yeah, when I eat it. Good. And that's always taco tray, right? So now we're gonna talk about all the things, you know, that I ate and my weight, um, you know, that affected that. Sunday was the beginning of everything. It was the day that the cookie cake came into the house. It was the day that the pizza was yes. here, you know? The balsamic drizzle. Yes, oh, oh balsamic don't get me started glaze. on that balsamic, oh, that balsamic glaze. So I stepped on the scale on Monday, on my birthday, 183.2. So that is a gain of 4.2 pounds. That is not even bad, but Monday, my birthday, is when the feasting continued okay. and we had, you know, more cookie cake, more ice cream. We had the Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Yes, we, we also did the live where I had that big slice of delicious uh, birthday cake yes, where I had that did. one piece of cake, which I'm convinced is what caused this next number. So on what Tuesday, the I 14th, won. I stepped on the scale 190.2. That's a gain of seven pounds. And that's the day I stepped on the scale and I was like, oh, for real? That's what that was. I was, was. like, what? <laughs> like, why, Lord? Why would you do this to me, you know? So, <laughs> on Tuesday, that was the day my fast was supposed to start. Mm -hmm. But then you remember, I was like, man, screw that. I didn't get all the cake that I wanted. This is some garbage. So, no comment. So, when I stepped on the scale on Wednesday, much to my surprise, it was 192.6. So I had only gained 2.4 pounds, which I mean, after seeing a gain of four and then a gain of seven, I was like a gain of two. I was just, I was oh expecting to be 200 at this point. Like who knows what the scale is <laughs> gonna do, you know? Like moving on up. So 192.6 was the highest that I had gotten. Moving on and up. I did fast on Wednesday and Thursday. So after that, after my, you know, like cake situation, my cake situation, I was actually able to fast. And so I fasted on Wednesday like a boss. And then when I stepped on the scale on Thursday. I'm so intrigued. Look now. at this. What's happening? What's happening? 182.0. What? That is a loss of 10.6 pounds. What? Overnight with a day of fasting. That is so impressive. So I lost, so I did, it's not, I mean, I guess it's impressive, but like I just went a day without eating, which I happen to do a lot. Mm. So, you know, it felt very normal to me, but I will say it felt great to see such a significant drop oh, yeah. of all that weight that in is, one day. So I also <laughs> fasted yesterday, yeah. which brings us to today's weight. Look, and so when I stepped on the scale this morning, mm. I was 177.8, which oh is a loss of, see, I don't know, hold on, quick clap, I need to do the math. Okay, 79 point, no, 78.8, 79.8, 80.8, 181.8. Okay, which is a loss of 4.2 pounds. So basically, in conclusion, this is the birthday arc right here. I started at 179, 
how did I end even less than when I started? That's fasting right there. That's fasting for you, right? So like, but boy, did it go up. Like it was crazy. Oh like I, I didn't expect it to get there. But you know, the fact that all I have to do is not eat for two days, which like I said, is fairly easy for me to do. Don't suffer, you guys. I wasn't suffering. This was just a, a choice I made oh, and yes, a plan, you know, get on plan. And if I can get back here. So after two days, that's all I need right there. That's all I gotta oh do. My so oh my yeah, today, like I said, I'm back on plan. I'm having right. taco tray today. I'm having taco oh tray goodness. into next week, and then we're gonna reassess from there. But look at you. This is my birthday. This is what happened on my birthday. Oh. So I am really happy. So I'm really happy with everything that I ate on my birthday. Yeah, I'm really happy with the decisions that I made. I'm really proud of myself for being able to stick to my two day fast. Once again, it was a 59 and a half hour. It is even more than 48 hours, you know? Mm -hmm. 59 and a half hour fast. The strong man. This one or this one? Okay, never mind. I wish nothing but the best. taco tray surprise surprise right now I'm on my way to the shop uh, because I am playing plumber well shall I say we are playing plumber and to add my wife is so gorgeous right now oh do you God. see oh. the work she is putting in oh my God. she is putting in so much work oh my God. To are you home? sure I'm not putting in so much work <sighs> Okay, we're at the shop, and there's my husband, and like a boss, oh my he figured out exactly what the problem oh was. Gosh. Richard, tell everybody what the problem was. Oh my gosh. I just went through a bunch of trial and error. That's what we in the hood refer to as troubleshooting. I wanted to make sure that the drain pump was what was not working, so instead of just going with it, I tried multiple outlets. I ended up going with the outlet outside of the drain pump, mm -hmm. and as soon as I did that, it worked. I looked at all the I looked at all the connecting pieces. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any leaks. And then when you went in the other room and started doing that, then it started dripping, and I was like, "What is going on?" So that thing was full of water. Exactly. When I opened this up, as soon as I opened it up, it was like, Ooh. "Oh so I was like, wow!" Close it back, close it back. <laughs> so I just needed to fix the test, but there's a little reset. There we go. All right, now let's turn on that sink. Okay. I am so in love with my husband and his behind. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we have the we have the water in the other room on, so this pump should kick in at any second. It did it! Yay! 
<laughs> when I tell you there ain't nothing the weathers can't figure oh out together. Do we or do we not just kill that right now? You are so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> See, look, 15 minutes saved us how much ever money with the plumber? Just a little, <laughs> little plug and unplug, bing bang, bada mm -hmm. boom. And we out. And there's my sister being a hater. Oh gosh. What, um, what are you doing? Hey guys, did you know we're starting a new series on Autumn's channel? <gasps> now. What, did I know we're starting a new series on Autumn's channel? Autumn's talking about right now. It's a live series. Since you're actually starting to like, like beauty a little bit more and like get into your face. And so when you were asking me all those questions, it kind of prompted me to want to do like a full face, like teaching you how to like do actual shadow. Yes, because like. even your eye light or eye shadow right now, I can't do that. So like, that's probably like two colors and a bunch of blending. That's it. I can't so, do it. And you know, there might be people, it's, it's optional. People don't have to watch it, but yes. hey, we're going to be here anyway. Hey, and if I'm learning as a part of this series, then I am 100% behind it. Like, so, so. coming soon. Okay guys, we are back from the shop and it is time to wrap up meal prep and I done laid everything out for you this week. You're welcome. Okay guys, this is just like a standard meal prep. I've literally had this exact same meal prep before, probably like a month ago for however many weeks. It is taco tray, but we are starting off the day as usual with cello wisps. And we got some almonds right here. Next we have Bulletproof Coffee. So I'm doing coffee with that preferred keto chocolate collagen. Don't forget, you can use the code WAC10 for 10% off their website. I'll put the link in the description box below. So that's just gonna have the collagen, sweetener, heavy cream with the chocolate milk. Next, moving on, we have the standard taco tray. I almost forgot the Quest chips, but <laughs> there they are, not so fast. So we just have ground beef here with all of the accoutrements. If you remember, I had to buy those heads of lettuce because they were out of the pre-shredded lettuce and I am all the way here for paying for convenience, but I didn't have a choice today. So my husband was gracious enough to actually shred, like cut up all the lettuce for me. Like, uh, he just knows the way to my heart, I will tell you that. And that is acts of service. We talked about that, about the five love languages and which one is like your love language. Everybody knows for me, it is acts of service. Nothing means more to me than the fact that he offered to cut up all that lettuce because he knew that like it was a little overwhelming for me. So that's my husband. Comment down below, are you familiar with the five love languages? And if so, what is yours? So we have the bed of lettuce and then I have a ton of cilantro here that I'm just excited about, but we're topping it with sour cream. We have cheese, quest chips. We have those pork rinds and guacamole. We have that chipotle aioli. We have the fire sauce and the tapatio. This is just standard issue stuff here. If I didn't say cheese, shredded cheese. And then for dessert, I am really happy. I have the Sargento cheese sticks and then I am just Going for keto bars this week. I didn't really feel like making anything and I just ordered a box of these because I had a discount code and I am excited to be having these keto bars. Chocolate peanut butter is my favorite flavor. Also, one last thing I wanted to talk about this week was this product called Meal Ender. So there's a company <laughs> called Meal Enders. And as you see on here, they're called Oh, it says the end of overeating. Oh, that's a hefty claim, but still. They're called signaling lozenges, which everyone knows I love a good lozenge, but basically they come in four flavors. There's citrus, there's mocha, there's chocolate mint, and there's cinnamon. And basically what they are, are little treats that you have at the end of your meal to signal that your meal is over. There's a lot of information here that you can read. But basically the premise of meal enders is that they are a mental tool that helps you know that it's time to stop eating. We all know that overeating is mostly mental, okay? Your body is no longer hungry, but it's your mind that just keeps wanting to have the sensation of enjoying the food. So meal enders is a concept where you use it as like a dessert to let your mind know that, hey, we're done eating, you don't want any more, which 
is honestly pretty helpful because my mind is always like oh yes you do girl so basically the chocolate mint the only one that i've tried so far it starts off kind of tasting like a tootsie rolls like a chocolate outside and then it fades into this really really strong mint that clears the taste of whatever you were eating out of your mouth like regardless of how rich and delicious it was that mint will blast the flavor out of your mouth therefore making you no longer want what you were previously having like those things are strong like to the point where i can't finish a whole one it's not like a mint like the purpose of it is not to eat like a mint it is to train your mind to recognize that it is no longer eating time and that your meal has ended hence the name meal enders and it's also good for craving so if you have a craving you want to reach for a quest bar you want to reach for some ice cream something that you know you shouldn't have and you mentally don't want but like the craving is so strong just pop a meal ender and then like get the rich sensation of chocolate and then clear it away with that mint i've actually been doing the same thing for a while with chewing gum remember i have chewing gum as a way to signal my mind that it's time to stop eating so i very much do believe in the concept these are just additional products that can help with that so they actually gave me a discount code you can see it here as well as in the description box below i will actually be sampling one on my what i eat wednesday so stick around to see like exactly what they look like and how they taste and everything but like thanks to the people at meal enders for sending me that and like they work that's all i'm gonna say okay guys today has been a busy day but i am glad to have some taco tray prepared i am looking forward to my meal prep next week getting back to basics my birthday was this past week and we all know that i went nuts so i am excited to get back on plan and to finish the month strong thank you so much for watching this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make meal preps on mondays what i eat wednesdays and freestyle friday videos you can also find me on instagram facebook and patreon at watch autumn keto thanks and i'll see you next week madeline sit maddie madeline sit Madeline, sit, 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 oh, oh, stretch, good girl.